Hi, this is the Rusted Willow, and my name is Tammy, and I have five Christmas DIYs coming at you right now. So let's get started with DIY number one. All right, so this first DIY is a Dollar Tree tree form, and we're gonna take off all that tinsel, which I don't know what I'm gonna do with this tinsel. I mean, I don't know. What do you do with all this tinsel? I don't even know. Anyway, so we get rid of that tinsel. I mean, they had tinsel like that clear back in the 70s when I was a baby. All right, and we're gonna use this chunky yarn that I got from Walmart. I got this Walmart on clearance, guys, for $3. And it has like silver tinsel in it. <laughs> I guess that's what you call it. Anyway, it's got, it does, it's got silver tinsel running through it. Um, I thought it was super pretty and I thought it would be gorgeous for Christmas. So that's why I got it. And it was only $3. So the treat form obviously was a dollar from Dollar Tree and the yarn was $3. And I only use a little bit. I have a huge, huge ball of it left. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I guess I'll be making more Christmas trees. So basically, I'm just gonna wrap this around the Christmas tree form, and I hot glue it really good around the bottom, and I get a good start on it. And I did leave all of the little nubbies, I don't know what you call them, teeth, nubbies, whatever they're called. I leave all the little nubbies on there because it helps hold the yarn in place. So then I just, wrap 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 this all the way around until i get to the top and then i just kind of hot glue it and squeeze it together and i'm trying a different angle on my camera um so if i get out of focus or out of frame i apologize but i'm trying something new here okay and then i take that same yarn and i wrap it the opposite direction just around the outside, just to kind of give it a little bit of dimension, make it a little bit 3D, and to cover up some of the places on the Christmas tree form that um, there were a few gaps because there wasn't much to glue the, the um, yarn to. So I just want to make sure that we are good and covered. Okay, so after I covered that with the yarn, I bought these little wood tags from Walmart. They were four for $1.98, which makes them 50 cents a piece. So we're still under $5, guys. And I just put that on my tree, I hang it on there. So you can put whatever little sign you want. Um, I use joy because I love Christmas. Christmas is one of my favorite holidays. Um, it was our mother's favorite holiday and it brings us joy to celebrate Christmas and think about her um, it's very very close to her death date and um, anyway it was a sad Christmas that year <laughs> we'll just say that and I am embellishing that little tag wood sign there I'm just adding some frosted greenery that I picked up from Dollar Tree just a little tiny bit and then I also got these little red uh, pit berries is that what it's called? Red berry garland? Yeah, little berry garland. And I just cut two off and stick on there for some color. And I just think this turns out so cute. And Christmas time makes me, I mean, it brings me joy to spend time with my family and I just love it. It also brings me joy to see them go home at the end of the day as well. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell him I said that <laughs> y'all can relate I know you can okay so I don't know why I keep fiddling with this goodness let's get on with it today is a collaboration with my good friends Missy from over at Crafty Cove Connie from Connie's Creative Creations and Emily from Farm Charm Chic these ladies are so creative. They put on this collaboration every single month. 
the fifth of every month and it's five under five on the fifth. How cool is that? And I love this collaboration. There's a lot of great creators. It has grown uh, immensely and we just love participating. And you've got to go over and visit these ladies' channels. Okay, DIY number two. Hopping right in. Okay, so I got this little truck at the Dollar Tree and it's a tea light. So you can turn it on and I am going to be painting this up. And oh my goodness, it turns out so cute. So the first thing I do is I am using my antiquing wax and I'm gonna cover the whole thing front, back, inside and out with the antiquing wax. There you go. Now I'm going in with some green paint and the color is Apple Barrel Marsh Green made by Plaid. I am a Plaid ambassador and I love, love, love their paints. I mean, who doesn't love their Waverly chalk paints, right? But I am using several different kinds of Plaid paints today. So I go in with the marsh green and I put that on the Christmas tree and the wreath and it goes on beautifully. I mean, they also sent me these detailing paintbrushes. Yes, that's what they're called, the detailing paintbrushes. And oh my goodness, what a difference they made. So I am also using the moss green from Waverly in the chalk paint and I paint one of the presents and a bow in the moss green. And then here is their detailing brush. Oh my goodness, I love it. This is one of the detailing brushes. So um, I paint the truck red, even though I wanted to paint it black, but anyway, I painted it red and I just go around everything, fill it in, Guys, I want to take a minute to thank everyone for stopping by. If you're new here, say hi down in the comments. Leave me a little note that says, hey, where, where you're from or where you're coming from. If you're coming over from um, one of the ladies in the playlist, I would really appreciate it because I would love to thank them. And if you are returning, thank you so much for your love and support. I truly, truly appreciate it so much. And guys, don't forget, um, I have this video timestamped. So if you want to skip ahead or come back to it later, you can just click on the timestamp and it will take you where you want to go. All right, I am using my favorite red to paint this truck. And if you've been with me for a while, it is called, well, if you've been with me for a while, you know what it's called. If you're new here, it is called Spanish Tile. It is not a plaid paint, but um, I do get it in the sample size from Lowe's and it is my favorite all-time red. It is the, the perfect Christmas red. Like, it doesn't get any better than this. So I am just cleaning off my brush. I'm filling in around the wreath. So uh, the colors that I'm using today are the metallic gold, and it's actually called 14 karat gold. You can use any gold. I used marsh green, moss green by Waverly. I used gunmetal gray on the grill and around the lights, which I haven't used yet. And I am just filling in the gold around the presents in the tree and the bow on the front of the truck and it just brings it to life guys and now i'm using a sharpie <laughs> for the wheels and the steering wheel and here's that gunmetal gray i'm using it on the bumper i use it around the lights around the mirror and the grill and this little truck turns out so stinking cute And after I get all of this filled in and painted around, I actually take a very ultra fine tip Sharpie 
and I outline everything in that. That puts it over the top, guys. And who knew? Like, you would think this little thing would be super quick and easy and quick, fast, done, right? No. It took a while to paint. Like, this is sped up four times. It took a while to paint. It's hard to paint in the lines when you're a perfectionist. <laughs> it's hard. Okay, so then here I am. I'm taking that ultra fine Sharpie and I'm just going around everything and outlining it. And guys, I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe and ring that little bell for notifications every time I upload a new video. And I am going to be coming out with some more Christmas. I mean, Christmas all the way around. I am so excited. I have so many ideas and I'm going to do some shabby chic and some trash to treasure. And I just, I got so many ideas. Today is pretty much all about Dollar Tree, but I do have some trash to treasure. Okay. And don't forget to Mod Podge. I mean, you want to make sure that after you spent an hour and a half, not really, <laughs> After you spend about 30 minutes painting this thing, you want to make sure it's nice and protected. So on to DIY number three. Here we go. Okay. I took this fabric from Dollar Tree. Again, the red truck. I just thought it was so pretty. I thought it was super cute and I thought I could jazz it up a bit. And I'm taking this scrap wood block and I am cutting out the red truck with some trees. All right, so I am putting down some Mod Podge. I am adding my fabric. I'm centering my truck onto this wood block. And then I am also bringing the fabric around the edges. I'm gonna cut off the excess fabric and then I'm gonna fold those ends like a present. I do go back and paint the back of this block red because I want it to be finished. So I just make sure that I have a good amount of Mod Podge on the sides, not too much, not too little, and just enough to where my fabric sticks down. And you can go over it in Mod Podge or you can just leave it like this. But I, went over well actually I didn't go over the top of Mod Podge until I got done with this so wherever there was white snow spots I put um, a good amount of Mod Podge like um, I just kind of dabbed it on there so that you could see it and it was like billowed up I, I don't know how to I don't know how to explain it but anyway you can kind of see that I put way more Mod Podge on the snow spots than I did the tree and the wreath because I am covering it with this iridescent glitter and it is so stinking pretty oh my gosh now I know people don't like glitter and they're constantly taking it off those signs at Dollar Tree which is fine but I like glitter and I love the way this glistens oh my gosh it is so pretty especially by the tea lights and the the candles and see they're like um big round iridescent glitters anyway i thought it was super cute so tell me what you think i want to know if you guys like it too on to diy number four this one has got to be one of my favorites for real okay so if you've watched any of my previous videos you have seen me use this um, antique baseboard This baseboard is nine and a half inches tall and I love it and I try to use it as much as possible so it's kind of like a trash to treasure well I purchased this mold it's like a candy mold it's for fondant I guess anyway I purchased it on Amazon a while back and if you're interested it's in my Amazon store and that is also linked in my description box below along with the playlist and the other ladies channels so make sure you check out my description box anyway I just used hot glue 
I know um, those IOD molds are very popular in the IOD clay or the air dry clay or whatever kind of clay you want to use. But anyway, I just use hot glue. I don't have any clay. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby to buy some air dry clay and all they had was terracotta color, which I guess would be okay, but I'd rather it be white so I don't have to worry about covering it several times with paint, um, several coats of paint. So anyway, um, I fill up my molds with hot glue and I use the um, Gorilla hot glue. So if you're going to do this, I suggest you get cheap glue sticks <laughs> because that can get expensive. Anyway, um, so I cut down the molds and I am making a Christmas tree. And I love, love, love how this turns out. So this has a clock, like a clock and some filigree, little swirly pieces. And I don't know. I don't even, they're just edging, just a different edging pieces. I've actually glued some on books to jazz them up a little bit and then paint over them. Um, I got them glued on, but I didn't get them painted. So maybe that'll be in a DIY coming up for Christmas. I don't know. Anyway, I love how this turns out guys. Oh, I made two of these and they're my favorite. They're one of my favorites out of this video. So anyway, I'm just showing you, um, I was trying to figure out which way the clock goes <laughs> because it does show a time on there. And I just wanted to make sure that it was not upside down. So after I make these molds out of hot glue, then I just hot glue them down onto my baseboard. And these baseboard pieces have been cut down. Um, they were in my scrap pile, so I just pulled them out. And I usually make picture frames with them because they stand up on their own. So you just wrap them with some jute um, or put a bow on it or a little saying, like I made some that say love and blessed, I think in a previous video. And um, you can use them as picture hangers, but see, it sat by itself. Anyway, I'm just showing you. It dries really quickly when you use hot glue. So they set up fast. So you don't have to wait for the air dry clay, which takes hours or, I mean, I guess you could put it in the, a little toaster oven or in the oven and it will dry out faster. But um, hot glue only takes a few minutes. <laughs> so if you're an impatient crafter like I am, you use hot glue and you get on with it. So I glued these down, I'm giving them another coat of white, and I'm just using the white Waverly chalk paint. And then I'm going to go over it with moss, and I do not wait for the white to dry because I want that shabby chic look, I want that um, like distressed, but mixed in, I don't know how to explain it, but I want the colors to mesh a little bit. So I want it to be a little bit messy and um, some white showing through, some green showing through. And oh my gosh, I just love how these turn out. And I did go around the edge of this one in the moss green just to distress the edges a little bit. And tonight um, I was coming home and filming my final reveal and I go, I go, don't you love how those turned out? And he goes, oh, my husband, sorry, I guess I should have said, I told my husband, don't you just love how these turned out? And he's like, yeah, what is it? I go, oh, seriously, it's a Christmas tree. He's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I see it now. No, he didn't see it anyway. <laughs> oh, all right. So here we are, DIY number five. And since this collaboration is home for the holidays, I wanted to make things that remind me of my family coming home for the holidays. So I made the little red truck cause you know, that brings them home. 
and the Christmas tree because we all gather around the Christmas tree and I love this home sign so I love it when my kids come home for Christmas and I also love it when they go back to their own homes for Christmas because after a day of that I'm just tired um, but anyway I do love uh, hosting Christmas Eve I host that with our entire family every year my sister does Thanksgiving and I do Christmas Eve and then we do Christmas Day with our own families and anyway I got this pack of tissue paper at Sam's it's a huge pack and I bought it because I thought it was all um, this pretty tissue paper right well only one one side of it is this pretty tissue paper the other side is just red white and green anyway and I don't know why I start in the middle here but I start in the middle with Mod Podge because I don't know I guess I was having a time and then I decided oh I probably should start at the beginning <laughs> anyway I cover the whole thing in Mod Podge and I'm going to put this tissue paper down over it and I know this was a Valentine's Day sign it came out at Valentine's Day or came out at Valentine's time at the Dollar Tree but um, you could use it any time of year it doesn't matter so I put the tissue paper on, I cut around it. I do leave the hanger because I wasn't sure if I was going to hang this or set this um, on my tiered tray or around my tiered tray. I did make sure that I glued down the edges uh, really well and then I set it on fire because I know y'all have seen this. Was it the junk and disorderly gals that did this? I can't remember who I saw do this. But if you watched Kathy Joe the other day, she tried this and oh my God, she's hilarious guys. Stinking hilarious if you have not watched her. I love watching her in the morning on my way to work because she just puts me in such a good mood and I laugh out loud every single time I watch her. And by the way, it doesn't burn if you don't cut a hole in it. But the minute you cut a hole in it, it burns perfectly. Look at that. Amazing. Now, I would suggest you do this over the trash can because I had little embers all over my craft desk. And then I just went over it with Mod Podge to seal down those edges. And I did go over it with um, a sanding. Well, I sanded around the edges just to kind of clean them up a little bit because they did some places where I got too much Mod Podge it was um, I don't know like a little nubby there I don't know how to explain it but anyway I did sand around the edges and then I took this awesome metallic gold paint pen from Dollar Tree which I'd never used before I have no idea why and I outlined the whole thing which I feel like I just brought it to life I actually I don't know if I showed it or not, but I did paint around the edges in my favorite color red paint. And now I'm just embellishing the heart to make it look a little bit more Christmas. Um, I took some greenery. Um, I think I had some leftover pieces of lamb's ear, some flocked little greenery from Dollar Tree, those pit berries again, and I just tied a shoestring jute bow and stuck it right on there and guys don't forget to go over and visit missy at the crafty cove connie at connie's creative creations and emily at farm charm chic and tell them tammy sent you if you are not already subscribed all right guys it is time for the final reveal and don't forget to let me know what you think about these projects and guys don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. It really helps out my channel. And I am just a small channel, so I'm trying to grow this thing. And I hope you will come back for some more Christmas inspiration. I have more videos coming out next week. And I hope to see you back here soon.
All right, guys. And if you like this video, here are some more videos that you might like as well. So y'all have a fantastic weekend. Yay, it's Friday.